Yeah, except for the time Dad hit that deer. Oh, I've seen this one. Yeah, well, Not in a long it's, time. It's, like it's just a ding. Uh, you know, there's, there's no reason to get the insurance companies involved. Well, you yeah. know, I should still take down your information, though. Really? Because, would... you know, you, you could probably just buff that out. I yeah, mean, but no, I really, I would really feel better if I got your information. We now return to cutting in line in front of a tent. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I, try, I tried to hold it off as best I could. That... I got distracted. I'm, I'm going to call fault because I got distracted on that one because I didn't have it set right to where I could just get it stopped with, with my space bar because otherwise I think I would have been okay. I, actually, now that that's a case of exactly what I'm talking about. That is, there we go. That's tougher for me when I've seen them before. And I don't know why. I think because I know there are good jokes coming and it just gets me jazz. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a mental patient. Could be. We now return to cutting in line in front of Italians. Oh, jeez. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, Copernicus, why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? Come on. It's... And stand there with your shirt. <laughs> My wife, of course, is Italian. Oh, her family, obviously, as well. And yeah, the, some of this is it's close. Oh, fuck off, train! Even you can't, you can't ease the burden of trying not to laugh at stuff like that. Hey, kids, why don't you navigate yourself to the oh. back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? With your shirt. Come on, there's worse things in life than rain, like uh, like like spiders. Oh, he's behind the door. <clears throat> Tina, he's bothering everyone. Say something. Say something, I'll kick his ass. Someone ought to kick his ass. Don't go in there. Peter. All right, all right, give me a Kleenex. I knew he was Oh, jeez, here it comes. Was Just go. Ah. Following it home. <laughs> <laughs> and again, <laughs> not to interject my wife into it, but she's ho terrified, absolutely terrified of spiders. So, yes, I, I'm familiar with the old Kleenex squish. It's kind of neat. You feel it. You get that feeling of godlike power when you feel them just disintegrate under your fingers, you know, inside the Kleenex. She won't even, my wife and I, you know, we've always, I don't know that we will, but we've always wanted to be able to travel internationally. She has actually crossed Australia off her list completely. She doesn't want to go there anymore because of the, the pictures and videos I've showed her, shown her of the spiders down there. All right, give me a Kleenex. I knew he was bad. I knew it. Ah. Yeah. We're following at home. Got what you Just deserve, like the bro. Wise men. So, what'd you get him? Gold? Gold? Ugh. I thought we agreed on a $5 limit here. Yeah, I just got him a crappy little bottle of myrrh. Hello, frankincense. Frankincense. You always do Jesus. This. Okay, 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 look. We'll put everything together and put all our names on it. No. Well, yes. That's so cheap. I mean, yeah. this guy no. Is no, 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 no. Oh, hey. If... Gold guy is such a dick. Hmm. Okay, I got that one under control. I'm doing better this time, you guys. I'm doing better. That fucking mustache on him. I mean, the, the, all their facial hair is is brilliant, of course. No, but I don't trust. I don't trust no, Gold's no, mustache. No, no, That's no, a lot no, of the issue. Oh hey, I saw your picture on the cover of Scientific American. You look great. Oh, wow, geez, nice. Where my eyes are like half closed. God, just take the damn compliment. Yeah. Uh... All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, you know, if you're a cell, an amoeba, whatever the case may be, and you still want to look your best, especially at a scientific American. It's, geez, that's a, that's a major geez, publication. Like half closed. God, just take the damn compliment. Yeah, uh, I bought a giant life-size slingshot from you, and it just Wiley. slammed me into a mountain. Sorry, no returns. I've been a customer here for years. I can maybe give you a store credit, but... Uh, Really? Well, I guess. Uh... What's well, the hold up in here? I'm taking care of it. I just thought. I was... <laughs> As if I had any shot, the anvil on the shelf did me. Yeah, I'm not gonna not have that. <laughs> Only because that one's again. I, I yes, I'm making excuses. That one's got an unfair advantage on me because that that was my vibe growing up. I was a Looney Tunes fanatic. You guys gotta remember, I didn't have the selection of cartoons that you guys did growing up. And Looney Tunes was the ultimate. That, that's what got me. Go that whole anvil on the shelf there was, I, yeah. So and the really? dynamite oh, behind him. So. Well, what's the hold up in here? I'm taking care of it. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. Uh oh. Oh, 
here are the coffee mugs. All right. That was pretty good, too. That was good. I actually don't like... My wife always wants to go in Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, it's actually not that bad a store. I didn't get to that section, though. I want to go now, though. Here are the coffee mugs. All right, we're done. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course oh, it's clear. Every American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? <laughs> Uh, that falls into the category. Sometimes a, a joke is just, and I'm a major connoisseur of such things. A joke is just so dumb that it's funny. Who American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? There is no just cause for an invasion of Iraq. Well, that may be. But what we're all forgetting is anyone who doesn't want to go to war is gay. I want to go to war. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first one? I am, I am so ungay. <laughs> that was clearly Cheney, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, the worst part about that is, it, with it being Dick Cheney, I, I could I, I could see him actually responding that way. <laughs> I, I wanted to go to war before anybody else thought about going to war. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> If you'll turn to page 34 of your blue books, you'll see our projections for next quarter. Okay. For, okay. for the vowels? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back. Well, well, Just well. sometimes. Well, decided to show up. So, what are we talking about here? Well, before you... Oh, I'm sorry. He's not yeah, really taking being a vowel up. seriously. No, no. I can talk. And now back. <laughs> I really like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that's not as hilarious as, as a lot of the clips may be, but I, that's that's a funny concept. Come on, conceptually, that's pretty good. Because <laughs> why gets to act as a vowel here or there? He's like, ah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna take the business as seriously as A E I O and U. I'm sorry. Just makes sense. F, what's up? No, no, I can talk. And now back to 1943's fast talking high trousers. Well, isn't this a fine song and dance? What are you getting so hot about? Keep your shirt on. Where do you get off making remarks like that? Supposing I say you're a lunkhead. Well, I ain't much for supposing. Well, supposing you were. Well, maybe I'm through supposing and I'm fixed to start figuring. Ah, uh, horseradish. Well, aren't you a pocket full of firecrackers? Oh, yeah? You got something to say about it? I'll say it's funny. not that far off. <laughs> it's really not that far off from those old movies. That's why, even though I'm an old fart, I'm not necessarily much of an old school fan of old movies. I'd say an old lot, old movies and shit oh, like that. Radish. Well, aren't you a pocket full of firecrackers? Oh, yeah? You got something to say about it? I'll say plenty. We can't give up on our goals. What if Jesus had done that? That's what... Oh, man. <laughs> Why is the ironing board still out? <laughs> Jesus no the thing. hillbilly. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure I, I'm oh, not a religious person at all, obviously, but but I was still afraid that there was <laughs> that at some point with the way this was set up, Jesus was going to go lay a beat down on Mary <laughs> or something. <laughs> I, I, I thought there was going to be domestic violence in there somewhere. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the ironing board still out? <laughs> You're watching BBC Four. Previously on condensation. Ellen, there's moisture on the outside of my glass. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It too is it's called condensation. Condensation. They say. Uh, come on, you, you swing swinging at the Brits a little bit is okay. Come on, guys. I know there's a we've got a lot of folks from the UK here. Is that is condensation a good show? Because now I kind of want to see it. Okay, what I'm going to do here, <clears throat> I'm going to try and choke it down as best I can. Because <sighs> again, the ball's getting rolling here with the laughs, and we'll keep going through clips until I laugh. Could be this one. It, it, very good chance it's just going to be one, but. When I laugh again, we'll we'll call it the end of this stretch. Well, I will do my absolute best to to not laugh. Condensation. <clears throat> Here we go. They say all peoples must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. 
From here on out, it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. The guys are golden. also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. See, but when I hey. don't pause it, it's harder. What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific oh. about mating. Oh. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Oh, that, uh, yeah, he's that penguin's got to be wrecked. Too hard. Oh, not... hold on. What? I'm just going to... Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Well, don't take it too hard. You're not the first person to get fired. <clears throat> Look, uh, Louis, the French people really want to thank you for your services as king, but uh, it's just not working it's out. It's not working out for us. To go another way. So we called so, in a headhunter. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big oh, screenplay. The douchebags. All real writers need to be seen writing. Otherwise, what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. Number one, number two. Um, number one, number two. Um, about the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three, number three, <laughs> number three, five, <laughs> and six. Uh, See, that's. <laughs> five, and six. I love uh, when they over milk a joke. About the same. <laughs> 